Okay, quick question. Uh, how do you reset the origin on the IFP trainer? So let's do that real quick. First thing we're going to want to do is just reach up and touch anywhere on the screen after you launch it. And you can see where it says origin. Just touch that. Now, of course, it usually defaults to KBED or to KMLB in Melbourne, one of our locations. From there, you can type in wherever you want. Let's say it's uh, reset to white plane. So there we go. And now we're off and going and we can build our flight plan or whatever. So uh, just, I'm just going to put a flight plan in real quick here. And we'll just go direct to Boston or to Manchester, maybe something. Okay, so now I've got a flight. So let's say <clears throat> you've done, you're flying that flight. There you go. It's off and running. You're flying along. Okay. So let's say now you decide you don't want that, you want to fly a different, out of a different airport. So you want to go to the FMS route. You go to FMS and then touch this route tab right here. And this is where your stored routes are. But notice your current route. So let's go down there and clear that one. So push the clear button. Delete the route. And again, when you reach up and touch right here, you've got the option to put in an origin. So that's where you can put it in, either here or on the, if I pull the side tab out right. Here. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Yeah, I got terrain because I'm not climbing. Or you can have it opened up to that side. So just like you did before, put in a different origin. Maybe instead of that, maybe you want uh, Kosh. Maybe we're flying on Osh this time. All right. So now the, the simulator will reposition at Oshkosh and you can enter your flight. That's pretty simple. So if you don't get that, the easiest thing to do is to make sure you go to the route page and clear whatever the current route is. Then you'll get a blank flight plan page like this, and then you can get that origin. You always want to enter it in as an origin, otherwise it won't move the simulator. Obviously, it doesn't work that way in the real airplane, but pretty straightforward.